Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is January the 3rd, and it's snowing, and we got snow on the ground, as you can see. And so, yeah, we've got uh, almost a, a full complement of strawberries there. We got uh, about a half a load, almost, of tomatoes, and then each one of the lettuce greenhouses have produced four pallets, uh, which I guess, yeah, that's about on par for... Actually, I think the hydroponics produced six per month. So maybe these don't do quite as much as the hydroponics did, but that's okay. Uh, we have a lot more of them. So uh, the one thing that I remembered, and I'm glad I remembered, is that we, we have some we have about 16,000 liters of sugar beets uh, sitting at the train station that uh, we want to sell. And the best time to do that, I think, is now. Let's take a look. Sugar beets. Well, actually, last month would have been the best time, but I mean, it's close enough to where it's not really going to make that much difference. Uh, so we need to go get those and sell those first before we do anything else. Uh, you know, before I forget. And then let's see, we also have our eggs here. So the usual amount of eggs per month for, you know, one chicken coop. And yeah, all right, let's go ahead and go grab those sugar beets first and then we'll come back and load up on our pallets and get those sold so yeah maybe these uh, greenhouses don't produce quite as quickly as the hydroponics um, but here again they didn't have a full day in you know on January 1st either because uh, you know we I, I don't even know what time of day it was when we eventually got them going. It was, you know, definitely in the afternoon, so that's part of it. So we'll see. We have, you know, we have to give them like a full three days because we have, you know, we're playing on three day months here before we can really tell for sure if they are on par with the hydroponics. But even if they're not, I mean, I just, I, I like the idea that we have to put seeds and fertilizer in, you know, in addition to water, because it's just more realistic, you know, it's, it's more satisfying gameplay. So we're just going to cut across, <laughs> cut across these fields here. I've been yakking this whole time and not paying attention. There's, there's actually a little bit better route to go to get here. I almost wonder if I should start storing at the, um, at that train station over on that end of town. Uh, I guess that would be the east end of town because I think it's not really any further away and it's probably a little bit easier to get to. So maybe we'll we'll do that moving forward. But let's grab these sugar beets. We'll make a little bit of money off of them. Probably not a ton, but, you know, it was free. They're basically free sugar beets because we got them from the contract uh, that I did off camera. And uh, actually, hold on. Do we... How's our chickens doing for food? They should be okay. Yeah, we're going to need to fill them up eventually, but we don't need to do that right now. And we still have almost two full silo loads. There's the sugar beets there of barley in here. Yeah, see, we have 17,501, and our chicken silo holds 9,000 liters. So we have almost two full loads still of chicken food. I, I really, that's another thing I really underestimated uh in in my favor right is I, I figured it would we'd run out of that feed in a year but it's almost lasted an entire year so yeah that's great okay so let's um in let's close the cover on these so they don't get snow in them not that that really matters but and uh, where are we going to sell these let's take a look see here Sugar beets. We want to sell at Goldcrest Valley. Oh, well, crap. They were. <laughs> I should have looked at that first. They were already in the train, man. What the heck? All right. Well, let's uh, put them back in and get that train over here. That's funny. Okay, well that's overloading. Let's run over here and get the train 
called in because who knows where it's actually at. I don't see it. Okay, so it's three and a half clicks out. Yeah, okay. It would take a little bit. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't... Hopefully that didn't cost us extra. Take them out and then put them right back in again. You know, while we're here, I guess we could top off the chickens. No reason not to. And I wish the camera wouldn't do that. I, I think there's a mod, actually, that fixes that. Yeah, let's get a load of barley. It's actually more than we need, but that's okay. We'll just bring back the extra. Okay, close it up so it doesn't get wet. I would think it's more important that barley doesn't get wet than sugar beets. And we're just going to park the tractor here. And after we do the sugar beets, we'll we'll come back and get it. So, all right, where's that daggone train at? It is still coming, right? Yep, it's 1.2 clicks out. Okay. So it should be arriving fairly soon. It's probably going to come from that direction. Uh, as opposed to reversing. I'm guessing. Nope, it is reversing. It must have been all the way on the other end of the map. How funny. Where are you going? Oh, I guess it's going all the way back over here. That makes sense. That's where you call it. Stop train! And load up the sugar beets. There we go. All right, let's take this load to Gold Crest Valley and make a little bit of money. 16,622 liters. It's not a bunch, but it's a little bit. More importantly, it didn't really cost us anything extra. It's been a while since we've been on the train. There's our farm over there. Mama Joe's uh, Farmer's Market and our new hay sheds. It's awesome. That was a nice upgrade. And there's a lot more to come, peeps. A lot more to come. <laughs> 2883 bucks. Yeah. Not uh, super impressive, but hey, what the heck, it was free. Ish. Okay, let's take this grain back to the chickens and get them topped off. Alright, there we go. I was going to say, why isn't it giving me the trigger? Sorry, I'm not doing that. It's the camera that's Acting weird here. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to take this back uh, to the train station. And uh, you know what I might actually do? Let's see. We have 12,000 liters in there. How much more do we have still in storage? Oh, that's a every... Uh, wait. What? 12,000 liters? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to actually take this to the east train station. I don't need to take it back to the west one because it's just going to be, I think, easier for us to get to. Because we don't have to... We shouldn't have to cut across any fields or anything to get to that one. I mean, we still can if we want to, but... It's, it's just a little bit closer. It's just right up there. Oh, look at the pond frozen over. That's cool. Wait, is it? Oh, never mind. Nope, it's not frozen. <laughs> it looked like it was for a moment there. So you I you do kind of cut across this field, but it's still a lot closer than the west station is. I'll eventually get you know, I, I still want to eventually get some silos uh, of our own, but I just haven't. The train station works so well, and it's pretty cheap, so it just does the job for now, you know? So we still have over a full chicken silos worth of barley here. A silo in about a third. That's pretty good, man. Excuse me. Actually, you know what? I might park the curtain side trailer along here. We're going to use it, though, now. Uh, okay, yeah, let's, uh, can we squeeze this guy in there? Yeah, we probably can, actually. It's going to be tight, but... All righty. So, what we're going to do now is let's put our tractor away. And we're going to get in our truck, hook up to the curtain side, and load up and go sell. Oh, I guess I need to disconnect this first. Ah, oh, it's cool. Cool that we have a truck now. An actual truck. With a PTO, nonetheless. So, we can use this with our, our big flatbed, or not flatbed trailer, our big hauling trailer. Um, because it needs a PTO, you know, to work the conveyor. And this should... Well, actually, though, I don't know if it, if that would work or not. I guess we'd have to try it. Because uh, of the connection. Okay, so let's see here. What we want to do is we're gonna we're gonna need to back in. Yeah, those bays up there might be interesting. We'll have to figure this out. Just because the barn's gonna kind of be in the way. Well, we should we should be able to make it work. Oh, 
Okay, let's open up the help menu. We want to open up the left. Yeah, left front's fine. Let's open that up. Or no, 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 wait, sorry, sorry. Not the left, the right. Your other left, OG. Okay, so we hit U to switch that to right front. There we go. Very good. Now, if we do left shift R, it should auto load the pallets for us. Look at that. It's magic. Oh, you know what? We need to let's find out who's got the best prices. Uh, all right, so these are tomatoes. By uh, the bowling alley's got the best price on tomatoes. Okay, what about strawberries? Two eighty seven two eighty six so the bakery's got the best price on strawberries and they won't take the tomatoes so we can load those up together and then what about the lettuce 11 look at the prices on the lettuce that's a this is like a really good time to be selling lettuce uh mama joe's actually mama joe's market right am i reading that right yeah mama joe's market <laughs> look at that already okay so we're gonna take We'll take we'll load up the strawberries and tomatoes first, and we'll take the tomatoes up to the bowling alley and the strawberries we will load at the bakery. Um to do this legit, we should um assume that our our workers here loading us up. So I mentioned this in the last or uh, yeah, the last episode. So I'm going to pay out 1200 bucks a month to my part-time worker who is loading these pallets. So I explained all that in the last episode if you haven't seen it. But yeah, that's the deal. Okay. Uh, let's close the curtain. So first stop is the bakery. Second stop is the bowling alley. And then we're going to come back and take all of this lettuce right over to Mama Joe's new farmer's market. It's awesome. It's good to see that new building already having the best prices. All right, nobody's coming that way. So bakery's the first stop. This is cool, man. We have our own truck and trailer now. Definitely moving up in the world. There's a lot more to come, though, folks. I got a lot more planned for this series. This is just phase two of, oh, well, however many phases it takes to get, get to where I want to be. All right, what are we doing here? We're doing strawberries here, right? Okay, so let's get up to here. And we want to open... Oh, it's selling them already. I should have opened the curtain so we could see it, but that's okay. Um, actually, we probably still should open it to make sure it gets all of them. We made 2152 bucks. If we open this up, we want curtain left, so that's you, curtain left front, yeah, and then let's open it up. Okay, yeah, so it looks like they got all the strawberries, and the tomatoes are all that's left. Very good. Okay, let's close that back up, keep everything nice and dry from the weather, and we'll head on up to the bowling alley. Look at our truck, man. Whoa! <laughs> Should probably watch the road, huh? You think? This is nice in here. Brand new truck. I love it. Shiny.
2029 bucks. All right. That's really cool. I love that animation. Okay, let's head back, load up the lettuce, and take it right across the driveway to Mama Joe's Farmer's Market. Okay, let's switch this to the right side. Whoops. We'll do right back. And we'll get our worker to load us up here. Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? These next two rows are going to be a little trickier because the the barn's in the way, so... Uh, probably didn't leave myself enough room to get in from the back, did I? Well, I don't think so. All right. Let's see here. What we're going to do then is we're going to go... We probably can't keep that trailer there anymore. We should be able to do this, though. that lettuce got to straighten it up a little bit I'm over correcting a little bit too much so I got to get used to this truck here It's probably... You know what? Let's try something. I don't know if this will work or not. Probably going to get myself stuck. That's what's going to happen here. Man, we can just about do that, huh? We can do that. I think we can still load those even with this side open, but it's kind of weird. So let's switch to... We want to be somewhat realistic here, right? Uh, curtain left front, curtain left back. There we go. Okay, we got that lettuce. Okay, now, what I want to try here is... Can we actually get around behind here? S 
so <laughs> sort of, kind of. Nope, we can't. Okay, it's a little too tight. It's, um... We might... Well, I'm going to have to scrape it now. Might have been able to do it if the snow wasn't here, you know, because the bank's a little slippery, but... It definitely is not enough room here. Oh! <laughs> we just about brought it over. Okay, we're going to scraping up our new greenhouses and our new trailer, man. What the heck? We might need a little assistance from Super Strength here. Nope, there we go. We got it around. <laughs> uh, okay, switch to curtain right back. So yeah, I'm gonna have to m remove the flatbed, you know, that's over there where we, that, it can't stay there anymore. And then I should be able to to back in. Oh, look at that, we have another thing of tomatoes already. Might as well grab it. Mama Joe's market, farmers market will buy it, even though we won't get quite as good of a price. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll we'll have to um, I'll have to move that trailer, and then I should be able to back it in those those two slots. Oh, without too too terribly much trouble. Okay, let's pick up this pallet of tomatoes, make a little bit of extra money. There we go. Okay. And then we just got to go right across the driveway there. So, yeah, this is really only about two and a half days worth of produce. It's not three full days. Uh, let's see. We're going to want to be on the right side. Curtain right front. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's double check, make sure this is still the best prices here. For lettuce, eleven seventy two. Yep, Mama Joe's is still the best price. Very nice. All right, let's make some money. Or what? Oh, no, they're going. It's just taking a while. Any time now. There you go. All right, nice. So that brings us up to $30,188. Uh, what's the total that we made off of our produce here in January? Sold products. So we made 23000 Does that include the sugar beets, though? I think it probably... No, that's harvest income. Yeah. All right, so for just just uh, two and a half days, so that's less than a full month for us, we made $23,000. Of course, the prices are at their best, but they're going to be really good next month too, and we'll have three full days next month. So I would expect, you know, we're probably going to, I'm going to guess we're probably going to make about 25000 next month-ish, twenty five to 30000 let's say. Close that up. 
And uh, and then yeah, so that's going to be February, and then starting in March, we will we'll start storing the produce in our cold storage, and then <clears throat> uh, and then we'll do one big huge sale, you know, next year in January, and make a bunch of money. So next year, you guys, we're going to be selling all of our silage because we're going to, you know, we're going to do the silage again this year and all of our produce and we should we should clear some serious money i mean think about it we made over four hundred thousand dollars off of our silage uh alone just this year so next year we're gonna have almost that much well we might even have more you know because we'll probably expand some fields too but we did lose these two small fields to to the production which is fine that was part of the plan but oh I'm like stuck between the wall here. Can I get out? There we go. But you know, we're gonna add all of that produce uh, to it as well. So yeah, it should it should be good. So yeah, we'll just keep that park there. That's a, a good spot for it, really. I don't know what we're gonna do with the man. Um I guess for now. Let's just park it right here. It'll be partially undercover. Oh, am I going to be able to get out? <laughs> uh, nope. All right. Yeah, we're going to probably have to back it in. Or here, let's do this. This is even better. Now it's all undercover. Fantastic. All right, you guys. So, yeah, not too bad. We almost made enough money to pay the bank back off. Uh, but we will definitely, you know, we're going to sell again in February and we'll definitely make enough money to pay the bank off in February. And then when March rolls around, you know, contracts will start up again. Our own hay will start up again, though that's in the short term going to even, you know, going to cost us more money too, but that's fine. Uh, but we're doing good. I'm feeling good about things and I'm expecting us to bring in, uh, you know, substantially more money this year than we did last year. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you come and share the video. And I will see you on February the 3rd for our next sale. See ya.